at Kentucky. We are here at Creative Kitchen and Bath in the Kitchen with Allison Davis. And what are we working on today? Cracking some eggs. Awesome. <laughs> Cracking eggs. Yeah. No, so this week we, um, again, are focusing in on anti-aging foods and uh -huh. um, just additional benefits of certain whole foods that we can use yeah. um, that will help us to get those extra benefits. And so today we're talking about spinach and salmon. Okay. Um, so I'm making a spinach and salmon omelet. Um, eggs Yum. also have a great benefit, um, getting that uh, yolk and getting, um, mm -hmm. you know, just some extra, you know, benefits there. But really, I've got my little cheat sheet here. <laughs> spinach actually contains these phytonutrients nutrients that okay. really help to guard against sun damage. Um, actually loaded in beta carotene, which just helps us to um, have a little extra elasticity in our skin. Well, which I know I need we it. We know that we need that <laughs> the older we get. Um, and then salmon is also great for reducing redness. Um, okay. And because it's full of the omega-3s and the fatty acids. Oh, like the rosacea? Um, yeah, it can also really? help with redness um, and reduce chronic skin inflammation. Interesting. So wonderful, wonderful benefits here. So we're just starting out, we're going to make a very simple omelet. Um, I'm starting with about five eggs. Okay. Everybody always asks me how I do it with one hand, so I guess I'll go through that. Um, I will crack it, but then I use kind of my ring and my index finger, and I'll just like pull. Kind of and pull then it kind of, apart. Yep, just pull I'm going to try this, apart. and I'm going to videotape this. Do it at home, this. and yes, let I'm going to videotape it, and I'll put it on Instagram, and I'll tag you on it. <laughs> All right. So we've got a little butter melting in the pan, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of chopped garlic or minced garlic. Mm. And that's just going to season up our butter, season up yeah. our pan. Um, when we make omelets, I don't think people realize the importance of whisking yeah. and really getting the eggs thoroughly whisked. Like frothy. Yeah, almost. like almost frothy. Yeah. yeah, because you don't want to have any separation of your egg whites or okay. your egg yolks. Okay. So really whisking those. I'm going to let you keep never, whisking those for me. You know what? I don't make omelets because I really... It's it's a struggle to get it just yeah. perfectly cooked all the way through so that it's not gooey in the middle. Yeah. That's the problem that I have with it. I always do scrambled eggs. So I'm You're glad you're doing this today because I yeah. want to see how this works. So I'm going to grab really a spatula works. out of my handy drawer here. I tell you, Creative Kitchens has like some really ingenious ways of designing their kitchen. And I love this drawer right underneath the burner that has yeah. everything you need. You don't have to go anywhere. It really is awesome. All right. So we've got a little garlic. I'm sauteing off our spinach for okay. our omelet. So you start with sauteing your vegetables, whatever it is you decide to add into that. Okay. Um, in this case, we're doing that fresh spinach to get that extra benefit. Mm. Um, and then for salmon, for an ease, especially in the morning, you can go with the smoked salmon. Okay. You can pick that up where it's already, you know, cured and you just get it right out of the container. Um, so a nice little bit of smoked salmon here going in. Okay. And then we're going to add a bit of cheese. You know, we talked about keto in the past. This mm -hmm. is a great keto dish, too, because it's just straight good fats, uh, cheese, you know, dairy, uh, eggs. Yeah. I've been digging these keto recipes yeah. that you've brought. And then we'll season really this up with maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. And yeah. at this point, we're going to add in our um, eggs. All, All right. right. So I got a little pepper and salt. All right. Don't need too much, especially if you're using the smoked salmon. Okay. All right. So our eggs are going to go in. And we had butter in this pan to start with. Mm hmm. All right. So we'll get rid of our whisk. And then we'll let this just kind of sit. You want to make sure you've got a good pan that your eggs are not going to stick to. Okay. Um, and then really just let it sit. And we're going to, um, what I do is almost like push it like you are scrambling in the beginning. Yeah. Just to kind of get the eggs mixed through. Okay. We don't have it on a high heat because you really want to keep the eggs a nice, like, uh, even okay. color. You don't want to get that sear or Do you browning. have it on a medium? What do you have I've got it on a medium low. Okay. Okay. And so at this point, now that it's starting to cook, we're going to let it. it sit and just work and cook, and then we'll flop that out and fold it over. All right. Um, the only other thing we might add is a little bit of fresh chives on top. Yeah. And then I've got a little More bit cheese. of... Um, yeah, cheese going into the center, the cheddar yeah. cheese. Yeah. So yeah, eat your spinach, eat your salmon. I don't know how much better it can get. Well, it looks fantastic. I love it. For this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head on over to Miss Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com. And you're also all over Instagram too, right? Yeah, <laughs> and that is at Chef Allison Davis. Right. So. For this recipe and many other recipes, please head over there. I think you'll find plenty of recipes to keep you entertained for quite a while. And this is Midday Kentucky. We'll be right back right after this short break.